welcome back future medicos in this video we are going to look at the details related to one of the popular medical colleges in bangalore we are going to look at the seat matrix in this medical college and we are going to look at the fee structure for various categories and finally we will look at the cut off ranks for this particular medical college in the last couple of years come let's get into the details so we are going to talk about kempa gowda institute of medical sciences or popularly known as kims which is located in bangalore this medical college is affiliated to rajiv gandhi university of health sciences in bangalore this college was established in the year 1980 so it's already about 45 years old medical college if you take any private medical college in karnataka typically they offer four category of seats government seats private seats management quota or others quota and then nri category these are the four major category of seats government seats 40% of the total seats are offered under government seats another 40% seats are offered under private category 15% seats goes under nra category and 5% are given as others category now this others category are also normally known as management quota in karnataka kims totally offer 250 mbbs seats and uh, if we divide this into the various categories under the government seats roughly we will have 100 seats under the private category again we will have 100 seats but these 100 seats are further subdivided into three categories gmp gmph and then open category now gmp will have 46 seats open category will have 46 seats and gmph will roughly have 8 seats and nra category roughly will have 38 seats and others category will be 12 seats roughly now out of all these seats the government seats and gmp and gmph seats are reserved only for karnataka students other state students cannot compete for the government seats gmp and gmph the other state students are eligible for open category nri seats and others category now if you are interested in this particular medical college where should you apply you should register with kea karnataka examinations authority is the place where you need to register and participate in the online counseling if you are interested in this medical college there is no necessity to register with the mcc this particular medical college will not come under the all india counseling not even one seat will come under the all india counseling all the seats that is 100% of the seats from this medical college will be offered only through the state counseling now let us look at the fee structure the fee structure is different for the government seats private seats and then nri and others category the fee structure is the same so there are three different slabs of fee structure now what are the components of the fee structure initially you need to pay some fees to the kea once seat is allotted to you through online counseling so what is the fees you will be paying to kea there are two components one the university fees which is 12700 rupees for all the categories whichever category whether it is government private or nri you need to pay 12700 rupees and the tuition fee varies for different categories for example if you are getting a seat under government quota your fees will be roughly 141000 if you get a seat under private whether it is gmp or open category the fees will be roughly 1188000 if you get a seat under others category or nri category the fees will be 42 lakhs so the total fees you will be paying to the kea for government seats will be roughly 154000 for private seats it will be roughly 12 lakhs and then for management or nri seats it will be 42 lakhs 12000 so this is the fees you will be paying to kea in addition to this you also have to pay certain fees to the college what are the fees you need to pay an application fee library fees laboratory fees transportation magazine alumni association graduate sports 
cultural activities, graduation day and so on. If we add all these fees, the total miscellaneous fees that you need to pay at the college comes to about 40,000 rupees. In addition to that, you also have to pay skill lab facilities. The fees is 30,000 rupees. So when you go to the college, you need to pay 70,000 rupees in addition to whatever you have paid to KEA. So let's take, for example, the private seat. You might have paid 12,867 rupees to KEA. In addition to that, you need to pay 70,000 to the college. So the total expenses for you will be 12,70,867. Let's say roughly 13 lakhs is the fees that you'll be paying to the college in the first year. Second year onwards, this fee will be slightly lesser, about 4,000 less. And the last year, you will be paying only half the fees of whatever the fee, uh, tuition fee is dictated by KEA, you will be only paying half of that. So, if we add all the fees, what is the total fees you will be getting? If you are getting a seat under government quota, that is, if you are a Karnataka student and you are able to study under the government seat, your fees will be roughly around 9.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs for the entire course. If you study under the private seat, whether you are a Karnataka student or other state student, doesn't matter, the fees will be roughly 57 lakhs. If you study under the others category or NRI category, then you will be spending close to about 1.95 crores. Now, this is only the fees towards the college. I have not discussed anything related to the hostel and mess fees. Of course, I don't have the exact details of hostel and mess, so I'm not going to discuss about that. But roughly, you can keep a budget of about one to one and a half lakhs maximum. That's what normally most of the colleges charge. So if you keep around that as a budget, probably you should be safe. Now let's look at what is the cutoff for getting this college in the last couple of years. I'm not getting into the government quota. I'm just going to focus more towards the private seats, uh, management seats and NRI seats. One thing I want you to take note is the fee structure so far I have discussed is all based on 2024 fee structure. We still do not know whether there is going to be any increase in the tuition fees for 2025. We do not know. The fees I have shown you is purely based on 2024. With that information, now let's move on to the cutoff ranks in the last couple of years. I'm going to tell you what is the All India rank for the private seats, NRI seats and management seats. I'm not going to show you for the government seats in this video because there is a lot of subcategories in government seats, so I'm not getting into that. One thing you also need to take note that KIMS increased the number of seats from 2023 to 2024. In 2023, they were offering only 150 MBBS seats. From 2024, the number of seats increased to 250 MBBS seats. So the drop in cutoff from 2023 to 2024, you also have to take into account the number of seats increased in the college. So for open category, in 2023, the closing rank was about 27,500 All India rank, whereas in 2024, it dropped to All India rank 50,000. For GMP category, 2023, it was around 80,000. In 2024, it was approximately about 85,000 All India rank. For GMPH, it's about 1 lakh All India rank in 2024. NRI and others category, as long as you apply, most likely you should be able to get it. I don't think there is any demand for NRI and others category, at least in the initial rounds. If you apply in the first round or second round for NRI or others category, easily you can get a seat. But of course, just look at the budget. Are you ready to spend around 2 crores to study MBBS in a college? If you are ready for that, yes, most likely you should be able to get a seat under either NRI or others category. I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.